If you want to know how you can make something like this in Roblox, just like GTA 5, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can make that GTA 5 uh, round defied circle for your tools. If you hold Q you can like switch weapons uh, just like GTA 5 has. Um, first of all I want to state that I did not make this. I didn't make it. Creeper man in my server introduced me to it. I wanted to make a video on it. Full credit to Ego Moose or Ego Moose whatever his name is. At least the owner of this creation. Uh, I want to have full credits to him, and basically that, so don't go to my comments saying, haha, you didn't make it, I just said I didn't make it, and nothing is my property on this tutorial, well, only studio, but anyways, you get my point, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe, if you like the video, like it, if you dislike it, dislike it, and let's continue on, so in your studio, you want to go to your models, and you want to get the model in the description, and you, yeah, and then you're gonna get these two things. You're gonna be like newbie, newbie. What is this? Bunch of code. As I said, didn't make it. So what you want to do? You want to hold both of them. You want to put them in start a player, start a player scripts like this. Now, what you want to do? You want to go to starter pack. You want to make a tool, and just name it hands, hands, like this. Yeah, get the point. Like, uh, like this. So I want to get a part in it. You want to name it handle. Go on the tool, and disable requires handle, and can be dropped. Disable that. Uh, now go to add a script, a local script, and a remote event. Now we're firstly going to type in the sir in the local script. Sorry, in the local script. So you want to type. You want to close this. And you want to type uh, local PLR. It's because the game calling get surface players dot local player. Yeah, local char. It's because the PL PLR dot character to then script dot parent dot equipped colon connect function. And then script.parent.remote.event colon fire server plr. I'm trying to fire the player. And now in the server script, all you want to type is script.parent.remote.event.onServerEvent colon connect function plr to then uh, player.character.humanoid colon unequip tools like this. And this is basically it. Now you want to go to view, go to toolbox, go to images, and I'm just going to do fist because I want like a fist emoji for like hands. Uh, I'm going to use this one. Models. So I'm just going to use that one, put it in texture ID, and now uh, do not test it out. This will not work with one tool. It is not going to work with just one tool. Just don't do it, please. And you just want, I'm just going to get the pistol over here, the working gun pistol. Now click play. Well, let's test this out. Now that you're in playing mode, just walk around and hold Q. You're going to see this menu. As I said, I didn't make any of this. It looks super cool though, not going to lie. Just look how cool that is. You can just switch weapons. So let's see, I want to have my hands so I can just walk around freely. Now I want to equip my gun. And now I have my gun and I can pew 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 pew. So as you can see, it's really easy. As you can see. So if you just want to go back to your fist, then just do that. I noticed an error. Click stop. Go to the handle. And set transparency to 1. So then disable can collide. Now play our game. As you can see, if we hold Q, we can go to our 
a gun and then back to our hands and you're gonna see your hand may go a little bit up but that is not a priority and you're barely gonna notice it so it's just so you can walk around fr uh, freely again so it's really easy to customize so what we want to do now if you want it's just really optional you can just get a sword a m4 i'm just gonna randomly put things into the backpack uh let's see what do we have more blood nah let me just search gun And this one, maybe. I have no idea what I'm doing. So, as you see, I have added a whole bunch of guns in my uh, starter pack. So, now we can go back in our Roblox game. And now, if you hold Q, you're going to see a lot of things. So, let me just see. I want to be a boombox man. And now, I got the boombox. I just want to be hands-free again. Boom. Now, I am with my hands only. Now, I want to have my gun. Yes, you get the point. So I want to be Honey Badger. Uh, yeah, it doesn't work. I want to be this. Okay, also doesn't work. I don't really mind. An M4. I, 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 they barely work. Now, Laser Gun. As you can see, everything works. You can add as much guns as you want. What I'm just going to do for testing, I'm probably going to break the game. Uh, I'm going to be super stupid. And I'm going to duplicate all of them again. Um... So as you can see, we got Q now. <laughs> we got a whole bunch of items in our inventory. So the best thing is, if you just make a game with guns, and you just make it so if you own it, you get it in your uh, backpack. Because if you play the game, as you can see, and you go to players, you go to your character, you go to backpack, you see all these guns, and the script is aiming for your backpack. So if you just put guns in your backpack, it's going to hop in here. And if you just make a data store out of that, that's going to be super epic. So all I just wanted to show you is this um, mod will be in the description, but you have to still script that hand thingy though. Yeah. But you get the point. You you can really easily custom customize this. I'm sorry for my English. Um, but if you did in fact enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you like it, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And uh, my name is Newbie, and I say peace out.